And more politics tonight. Congressman Steny Hoyer making the rounds in Prince George's County today. He visited with county council, the county executive, spent a few moments with us here and me at CTV News about a variety of topics which will air over the next few days. By Congressman Steny Hoyer, who's in his 17th term now in Congress in the 5th District. He's the longest serving member of the House from Maryland, and we thank you, sir, for joining us. Good to be a with great you. Great day when you come here to see us. Well, a lot. Beautiful day out, and nice day here. It is a great, a lot to talk about today, the FBI. But before that, let's begin with Iran. I know there's been an understanding, so they'll keep continue to talking. Bring us up to speed with what's happening. Well, there's been a tentative agreement. That agreement needs to be memorialized. That is. Uh, between now and June 30th, put into a final form and signed off on. So while there's a tentative uh, notional agreement at this point in time, uh, it's not final until it's uh, signed off on. I just had the opportunity of uh, being briefed by the chief of staff, mm -hmm. Dennis McDonough, of the White House, just a, uh, actually a few minutes ago. I missed the president's speech because I was on the road. Uh, but uh, I'm going to be looking very, very carefully at the terms of the agreement. Uh, it's, it's well agreed by everybody uh, in the world that Iran should mm -hmm. not be a nuclear armed power, period. Uh, these negotiations are designed to try to prohibit that. Uh, but the, the devil's going to be in the details. Mm -hmm. To make sure, first of all, there's a very, very intrusive uh, inspection regime. Uh, Tony Blinken, the Deputy Secretary of State, has said the most intrusive in history. And the reason for that is we have no reason to believe that the Iranians won't cheat. The Iranians uh, are designated by our own government as a spreader of terrorism throughout the world. They're obviously uh, spreading chaos in the Middle East and in Yemen and Lebanon and Syria and other places. Uh, so that uh, I'm going to look at this agreement very, very carefully to be assured that, in fact, it accomplishes the objective that all the world says it wants to accomplish. So you distrust, but verify. Uh, every reason to distrust. Okay. Now, let me ask, let me ask the question here, because um, talking, I guess, you assume is, is, is the best route here. But John Bolton, former ambassador to the U.N., said in the New York Times on Sunday to stop Iran's bomb, bomb Iran. Your reaction to that? Well, the, the president has said the military option is on the table. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, frankly, if we can't stop it through agreement, we need to stop it through uh, military action. Uh, and, and, and I think the next step, frankly, is escalated sanctions, not, mm -hmm. not war, not bombing. Uh, but I do believe that uh, a nuclear-armed Iran is simply not an acceptable option, and therefore we must stop it. If we can stop it through agreement, uh, that's the best uh, route. Uh, if we can't, then we need to escalate sanctions very, very substantially until we get there. And if that doesn't work, the military option has to be available. All right, closer to home, the FBI. I was at a press conference a week or so ago in Annapolis. Right. You were there, the governor, others, a unified front to bring the FBI here to Prince George's County. Bring us up to speed. Well, I think we're doing well. I think in the competition, there, there, there are three possible alternatives. One's in Virginia, two are in Prince George's County. We think both the sites in Prince George's County are preferable to the Virginia site. Uh, we think the FBI has certain criteria that uh, can and will be met here. We think from a competitive standpoint, we have a wonderful site in Greenbelt that uh, is, mm -hmm. is, is very near uh, abutting uh, Metro uh, uh, and uh, Route 50, uh, 95, uh, Baltimore Washington Parkway, VWI, Andrews Air Force Base, uh, National. Mm -hmm. So it has uh, University of Maryland, cybersecurity. NSA, we have all the assets that will make uh, our site an excellent one. And I think we're in good shape. I think that, that uh, in the few, uh, a few weeks, I think they're going to come out with, uh, the, they being GSA, who will okay. award the contract, come out with some parameters for uh, the environmental uh, statement and a request for, for bids. Uh, we expect there will be probably five or so people who will who bid. We think most of them uh, will include Greenbelt, maybe other sites as well. Uh, so I think we're in good shape. And the fact that uh, Governor Hogan, mm -hmm. uh, uh, as, as the Republican governor, and the Democratic uh, U.S. senators and House delegation, including Andy Harris, are in lockstep in saying to the GSA and to the federal government, the FBI will be well served by being in Prince George's County. Okay. I think is a, is a benefit. Well, you were in Prince George's all day long. You spoke with the county executive. Yes. You met with county council members. Talk about your plans while you were here today. Well, I like to keep in touch with the local government. As I told them today, 
Uh, you know, we I, I tend to talk about my constituents. Mm -hmm. The council talk about their constituents and the county excited about his constituents. The fact <laughs> is, uh, frankly, those folks all look at, look, we're not your constituents. We're Prince Georgians, uh, and we elected you to help make our lives better. And we talked a lot about uh, uh, the uh, federal budget. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked some about... Uh, the uh, reauthorization of the highway uh, trust fund. Highway trust fund goes broke on May 31st. Um, I think we've been pretty irresponsible in not extending it out and, and making sure that we can let contracts to maintain, repair, and build uh, our transportation system, whether it's roads or bridges or, or, or what have you. Uh, okay. That's coming up very soon, and hopefully we're going to act responsibly in the Congress. Okay, so our time up for this segment. Tomorrow I want to begin talking about uh, voting rights, Selma, and Terps basketball. Will you join us? You bet. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll have more with Congressman Hoyer tomorrow.